Hello gamers, my name is Roll Easy. I'd like to welcome y'all back to the channel. Guys, we have a solo money glitch here for you using the director mode glitch. If you guys haven't seen my previous video using the outfit or the outfit tutorial using this director mode glitch, go check it out. Link will be in the description. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more of this dope and fresh content. And I want to go over the requirements first to be able to do this solo money glitch. You're going to need two characters, obviously. And on your second, well, you're going to need about $4 million in your bank, at least. three, three point five to $4 million, I would say, just to be safe. Because you're, you're going to need to buy a bunch of apartments, all right? So three and a half to four mil. And so you want to go ahead and get on your second character. You're going to lose all your outfits on your main character, just so you know. So your main character will lose all the outfits. That's why I came out with the outfit tutorial. So if you want to do this money glitch, do it after you do the outfit glitch, all right? And you won't lose any of your uh, cars in your garages, all right? So don't worry about that. So go ahead and go on your phone on your second character. Mine is my female. And you're going to want to purchase, as you can see on the screen, the three most expensive apartments. And you're going to want to, it doesn't matter what the interior is, and you're going to want to put them in slots four, five, and six. Or sorry, uh, yeah, four, five, and six. So you can see right here, slot four. I'm putting it right there. So this is where the money comes in, you know? So that's 965 grand I just paid for that, just because I got a little bit back for the other apartments. But if you're paying full price, it's it's around three to 3.5 to $4 million in total you're going to be spending to do this glitch. All right, so now I'm buying the second most expensive apartment for 985 grand. Interior, once again, does not matter. And I'm, I'm going to put this one in slot five. All right, right there. And then now I'm going to go return the map. And I'm going to purchase the third most expensive. They're all the Eclipse Towers, basically, the three penthouse suites. And this one's over 905 grand. All right, interior. You literally don't have to put anything on the interior. I'm just doing it because I'm going to be owning it. So I just want something nice. And I'm putting that in slot six, as you can see right there. So that's the setup for your second character, all right? This is your second character that you're buying the expensive apartments on. So now you're going to go ahead and go to swap character. And we're going to be going back to our main character, the first one. In my case, that would be my male character. This is the one that you're going to lose or this is the one that will get modded outfits. Your main character would get modded outfits if you use my previous outfit tutorial glitch. And the female character would be the one that you're putting on, you know, some crazy, you know, some different outfits to be able to transfer over. All right. As you can see, I got the checkerboard outfit on my main character. He lost all his original outfits by doing this glitch or the previous glitch. All right. It's just what happens. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and select my main character right over here. That's my roll easy, the male. And I already have all the components on my female character. So doing this glitch again, it won't erase my current ones. It'll just transfer the same exact outfits I have again. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, just go watch my previous outfit tutorial, all right? And I just want to say that this setup right here that we're doing, buying the apartments, you need to buy them on both characters. You only have to do this once, which is the first time that you start this glitch. So you're going to basically start making, you know, you won't really make money unless you do it probably twice. Once you start, once you do it twice, then you'll basically break even and keep doing it after that and you'll start making a profit. All right, you get about $1.5 million each time you do this glitch. Okay, so you're going to have to do this twice, and then you'll be able to start making a profit. But once you get the glitch down, you can just keep doing this back to back to back. It's all solo. All right, but I just wanted to let you guys know, just for those of you that think that you have to keep buying the apartments every single time you want to do the glitch. No, this setup is just one time. You buy the three apartments for the main character, three apartments for the, uh, the second character, and you never have to do that again. You can literally rinse and repeat, and you'll make one and a half million dollars every single time. Just to be clear about that, guys. So now we're back on the main character and the setup for this one, you're going to want to buy the three cheapest apartments, uh, apartment slash garages. I'm going to go into passive here because I'm in a public session. I don't want anybody to kill me while I'm just sitting here on my phone. So my guy's over here doing a little dance. All right, and guys, this is not the easiest glitch to hit. I will let you know that, or I'll let you know right now, a lot of people are having trouble with the timing, and I'm going to do my best to really explain it to you, all right? So go ahead and go to Dynasty 8, and I'm going to fast forward through this part because I accidentally purchased some apartments that were more expensive. So just literally ignore all this right here. I purchased like two apartments that were over 100 grand, then I realized those aren't the cheapest. So now we're back. 
Don't worry, you know, about the previous thing. I just purchased the wrong apartments. Don't waste your money like I did. These are the uh, garages slash apartments you want to buy. These are the cheapest right here. So 25 grand for unit 124. You're going to purchase this property. And just like the other character, you're going to put this in slot four, five, and six. So that one goes in slot four. Now the second cheapest, which I do believe right there, Strawberry Avenue, it's only 26 grand. And you will not lose your cars, guys. All right, put this in slot five. As you can see, this is a two-car garage. I think most of these are. Don't worry, your cars go up in the cloud. If you have 10 cars in a garage that you're replacing, the cars go up in the cloud, they will not delete, all right? And now we're in slot six, and that's where we'll buy the last apartment. So remember, you buy all the apartments on four, five, and six. You buy the expensive apartments on your second character. You buy the cheap ones on your first character. That's pretty much the entire setup. There's nothing else to it. Once again, if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments. I will be more than happy to help you guys out, all right? So once you're done buying the apartments on both characters and you're back on your main character, you know, you bought the um, the cheapest apartments on, for, uh, for your main character, you're going to want to go ahead and exit to story mode. Now, before we do the director mode glitch, you can't actually enter director mode w after you've been online. So once you come back to story mode, you're actually going to quit your app and you're going to have to restart GTA and go straight into story mode. Now, I have seen people say that they've been able to hit the glitch as Franklin, but most people that I've seen that have done this glitch have needed Michael. So I'd recommend definitely using Michael in the story mode. If you haven't unlocked him, you do have to do a few missions. All right, so here we go. We're Michael in story mode. Now, this is how you get glitched out. This is where the glitch really begins. All right, so you're going to go ahead and go into director mode. If this boosts you into story mode after this, that means you came online or you came from online, that's why I was saying you need to restart your game before you go into director mode. You cannot enter director mode if you have been online already. So now we're coming out of the trailer here. Just go ahead and press up on the D-pad once to enter director mode. All right. Now that we're going into director mode, this is what you're going to do. You're going to want to open up your interaction menu and go to settings. Now, when you're sitting on the settings, you're going to go down to explosive bullets, hit right on the D-pad once, and then hit X to activate it. It'll go black real quick, and that's it, all right? So these are a few failed attempts, honestly. This is what you're doing to get glitched out. You're going to hold left trigger to aim. As you can see, the bullets there, they're explosive. And hold left trigger to aim, and then press the start button and hold it. And then you're going to want to flick the right trigger and let go of the start button at the same time. And I say flick the right trigger. Don't You really don't need to fully press it down. Just flick that right trigger so that you can shoot and let go of the start button. Now, as you can see, I failed right here, but that's okay. It just boots you back into, direct, or into the trailer and just enter director mode once again, and it'll bring you back in the same place that you were just at. All right, so here we go. This is going to be another failed attempt. I want to show you guys. It's, it's not always easy. All right, so hold left trigger, hold the start button, flick the right trigger, and then let go of start at the same time. All right, I failed there again because the start menu did not come up, so I was a little too late pressing start back in the trailer, and we're going to go ahead and enter director mode one more time. Now on this one, I will hit the glitch. I wanted to show you guys just a couple fails and everything, just show you how it looks. So go ahead and take out your assault rifle, aim down left trigger, hold start button, flick right, and look at that. Click the right trigger and let go of the start button, you see the flame coming out. Now you're going to go to online and go into creator. Now you saw that right there? The explosion happened and then Michael was just standing up there. That's how you know you've been glitched. All right? And this is how you, you really confirm that you've been glitched. We're entering creator right now. You're going to have a glitched creator director mode menus. You see how they're on top of each other on the left? They're all fucked up. So you're going to want to press down on the D-pad three times and then A twice. Down on the D-pad three times and A twice. You're going to get this black screen right here. And then it should load back into the creator mode right there. So you see director mode creator. Now you're going to press start. Go to online. And then you're going to go to uh, choose character. All right. And you still see the director mode on the top right. We're completely glitched out. Technically online since we're in creator. But also with director mode. All right, they might find other possibilities, uh, you know, other things to do with this, but I'd take advantage now. It is Sunday. Rockstar usually starts patching stuff come Monday, so we don't really have much time with this, which is why I wanted to get the only working solo money glitch out there for you guys right now. Remember, you don't need an MOC or anything. It's not like the duplication glitches. You just need some startup money and, you know, to be able to buy those in the, uh, in the right slots. All right, so now... We're in the mugshot room. You're going to go ahead and select your second character. This is the one with the expensive apartments. All right. So go ahead and select your second character. And I'm going to go over this very thoroughly. All right. 
So we're gonna go into a joining online screen right here, director mode, still glitched out, top right, as you can see. You're gonna wait here and sit here until you hit the alert message that says that you've timed out of the session. I'm gonna sit here the whole time, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Now, since I'm recording on Xbox DVR, I can't show you once I've quit the game and then everything else, so I'm gonna tell you right now. Once you get the timed out session, you're gonna wait there for five to 10 seconds, then accept it, and then immediately press the Xbox button and close your app. Completely close GTA. Once you close GTA, you're gonna end up going to press start over the GTA app, go to manage game, and then you're gonna go delete your saved game data on the console, only on the console, not on Xbox Live, and then you're gonna be restarting GTA. All right, so I'm gonna go over that one more time. We're sitting here, we're gonna get timed out. You'll see the timed out alert screen. Once we're there, you're going to wait five to 10 seconds on that alert screen, then accept it, and then immediately close GTA, completely close GTA. Once you do that, you are then going to press start on GTA. This is all on Xbox. Press start on GTA, then go to manage game, and then delete your game save data from the console, not Xbox Live. Then once you boot back up into GTA, it's gonna try to sync your data. Press cancel and press stop sync. You do not want it to sync. And then it's gonna boot you up into the prologue. Now, if you're on PlayStation, you don't need to delete save, da save game data. Just quit out, then reload GTA again and hold R1 and L1 and you'll see the display calibration. All right, that's what you wanna see, display calibration and just accept that, all right? Now, once you load up GTA 5 again, it's gonna ask you where do you wanna sync your data from? You're gonna say sync from console, not from Xbox Live. Now, once we're in the prologue, I'm gonna slow this down, uh, just so you guys, you know, just so I can explain it. You're gonna wait until your character can move. You're Michael right here. You're gonna wait until you can actually move your character, then close your app again, all right? Now, when you close your app, you're then going to go ahead and start it back up and when you start it back up it's going to try to sync you let it sync this time don't cancel it let it sync and go ahead and just boot up into story mode as normal okay and remember whenever you see those that display calibration just go with it just just press a on display calibration all right now that we're booting back into the game so we're booting back in as michael it doesn't matter who you boot back in as this part does not matter all right like who the character is now you're just going to go ahead and press start and you're gonna to go to online and an invite only session. Now the game is gonna think that you're going into online for the first time because it's so confused right here. So you're gonna accept the terms. You're gonna go ahead and accept that and submit it. And now you're gonna go ahead and boot into your invite only session as your main character. All right, that's why in the beginning of the video, you started on the female, went to the male, and then went back to story mode because now we're gonna be booting up back as the male character. And the way that you know the glitch worked, you should be able to see now the expensive apartments that you bought on your female character, or on your second character, you're gonna see them now on your male character. Just like the outfits transfer, the apartments actually transfer over. That's how this glitch works. This is how you make money. You bought all those you know, expensive and cheap apartments, now we're gonna go ahead and buy the cheap apartments over the expensive ones. If you're a little confused, you're gonna see right here what I mean. Remember, on this character, we bought a bunch of cheap apartments. On the other character, we bought expensive ones. Check this shit out, all right? So, here we go, coming down as my main character. My outfits all stay there because my female components are all set already, so they just transfer over the same exact outfits I had before. So here we go, go into your phone, go ahead and go to Dynasty 8, and now I'm gonna look for the three cheapest apartments. I learned from my mistakes. So Grapeseed Avenue and watch. Look at slots four, five, and six. They have the expensive uh, prices, but they still say the cheap apartments. That's how you know it worked. So now we're gonna go ahead and buy over that. And look at the top right and check out how much money we get from each. So I just got $522,000 just from that right there, from that one apartment. So there's a little bit over 500 grand just from that one. All right, so now I'm going over to low end. Price is low to high. There's the second cheapest, 25,000 for that one. We're gonna purchase this one in slot five. And then look at the top right of how much money we get. $467,000 from that. All right. And now we're gonna go to Strawberry Avenue and then we're gonna pick that one on the sixth slot and check out how much money, top right, $426,000. So you see, you do make about a million and a half dollars and all it takes you is about seven to 10 minutes, depending on how good you are with this glitch and how fast you can be. 
and now you can just rinse and repeat. Remember, in the beginning when we bought the apartments, you only had to do that that one time, and now you just keep doing the glitch over and over again, and you make one and a half million dollars every time. After two times doing the glitch, you'll pretty much break even. After that, that's when you start making a profit. So you do make good money. It's solo, and it's the only solo money glitch we have here at the moment. So like I said, if you have any you know questions, put them down there in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer. It's a pretty confusing glitch, but once you get it down, it's not that hard at all. All right, guys. My name is Roll Easy. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned. And check out my other videos. Check out the other d director mode glitch video that I have put up. Later today, I will also be posting a duplication glitch that is working. All right, that one's not too difficult but you do need a few requirements also for that, and you need the MOC. This glitch, you don't need the MOC, so that's the plus side, and it's 100% solo. All right? Well, that's all I got for you guys today. My name is Roll Easy. Thank you for coming to the channel. Like the video, press that blue thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. And I'm out of here, guys. Peace out.